I mean, we're a little behind the eight ball at this point. Greetings Weight Watchers and friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Love Fuller and I am here with the Weight Watchers Weigh In update. So for me, this is weeks, my weeks four and five weigh ins. And I also wanna let you know about my experience so far with rejoining Weight Watchers, the green plan. I'm very curious to know if you rejoined Weight Watchers or if you are um, still on Weight, if you have always been on Weight Watchers, did you uh, change plans or how you're liking the plan so far. So I know so many of you are not necessarily um, following Weight Watchers, but if some of, so many of you might, might be, I'm interested to know what your experience is like as well. So please let me know in the comments below. For, for week four weigh in, I got back on track with doing my um, Weight Watchers Green program. That was before uh, the switchover happened, but if you remember, I was been doing eye track bites, so I was able to do the green program anyway. Nothing really changed for me except that I was happy to be able to switch over to the Weight Watchers app, which I had already signed up for a couple weeks before because I wanted to make sure I got that really good deal that they had, like the sign up deal. So um, I've had it for two weeks, just kind of sitting there like idle. So um, that week, I did get back on 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 tra on on plan so the plan is of course tracking my points with Weight Watchers and um, I also like to do uh, intermittent fasting in particular I, I tend to like to do one meal a day so what I did that week uh, when I got back on track uh, was that I did all that I did tracking I did um, intermittent fasting and mostly one meal a day uh, I don't have some rule that I have to do intermittent fasting and I definitely therefore don't have a rule that I like that I have to do one meal a day but I do like to do those and so and I find it not that difficult to do I find it more difficult to like eat in moderation than I find it um to like not eat you know to to fast so um that tends to be a plus for me. I know everyone's not like that, but for whatever reason, that tends to be a plus for me. So it's easy for me to do this, what I, which I would like to do um, for the health benefits and also for um, the benefits of uh, the weight loss benefits that you get from the intermittent fasting. Okay. So that week I lost 3.4 pounds. Yay. So I lost 3.4 lost 3 pounds. And so I am... Um, still tart, you know, trying to lose as much weight as I, as I possibly can. If there is some way in the heavens I'm able to lose 20 pounds by 2020, then that would be fantastic. <laughs> I mean, we're a little behind the eight ball at this point, at this date. Uh, but, um, you never know. You never know. Listen, I do have, I, I have that, um, secret weapon in my bag that is intermittent fasting and one meal a day. So I did really well that first week, lost 3.4. And then I didn't do that well the next week. What did I not do well? I think that partway through the week I stopped tracking. Um, partway through the week I stopped tracking. And then I, at the last couple of days I didn't do OMAD. I didn't even do, I did like maybe like 12 hour intermittent fasting, not 16 intermittent fa hour intermittent fasting, like a 16 hour fast. And I was pretty much eating whatever I think cause I wasn't tracking and I was just eating whatever I think. So I gained 0.2, which is not that bad compared to I, how I really think I could have done or would have done had I not been doing well, the beginning of the week and I, and had I not been doing intermittent fasting for most of the week and actually kind of the entire week, because like I said, those other days I still probably did 12 hours, but yeah. So I think the intermittent fasting does help with that. Okay. And now I weighed in. That's why I said I weighed in and I was down and I was up point two. Okay. So that's where I was on Monday. Today's, uh, Friday for you, but Thursday night for me. But I do want to let you know that um, I am doing well. So thumbs up to that. Let me get a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you join me for more of my weigh-in videos and follow my journey on Weight Watchers Green and intermittent fasting and on one meal a day. So please click the subscribe button.
Okay, and the last thing I wanted to tell you something about fasting. So I have a friend in the fast in the intermittent fasting community, and in particular the one meal a day community, and that is Omad Caroline. And she posted this morning that she is going to do a 72 hour fast. Uh, she she's gonna she is planning to do them quarterly four times a year and she said that her alarm went off that says that it's time for her, her to do her quarterly fast well I had have, have had the idea of doing a quarterly fast and I was like okay but I haven't done it you know it's one thing it's an idea another thing is like to do it so I was like okay I saw her her video this morning at like who knows like 10 a.m. or something like that and I was like okay well I'm gonna jump on board with her so I'm gonna do a 72 hour fast for the purposes of letting my body have a reset, for the body pur purposes of like, you know, having letting my body be cleansed, I probably am going to, now this is gonna sound ironic, I'm gonna drink water, of course, during the fast, and I probably will drink a coffee whenever I get hungry. So that's kind of ironic, like. But I just sip on the coffee, sip on the coffee. Like I have this small coffee here that I've been sipping on for two days, yesterday and today. That's two days. I know you. I know you know what two days is, but I'm saying I've been sipping on it for two days, and there's still coffee in here. So I mean sipping on it. I mean that. So, um, but it's because it staves off my hunger. Um, so that is what I might have. But I'm also thinking about having like taking something like. Remember back in the day, your grandma used to give you like cod liver oil, and like one like three or four times a year or whatever, she would be like, "You need to clean yourself out," or how twice a year, how often you need to clean yourself out. And you have to drink the cod liver oil. So I'm thinking about doing something like that. If you have any ideas for like that, I, that's not like sponsored or like you don't you don't get paid for this or whatever, uh, you know. But like something that like is natural and that is um, that is not expensive and not that I have to sign up for an, a membership or anything like that. But that is a good like natural kind of laxative. Let me know. Um, that would be great. So. Um, I am going to be fasting. I fasted today, Thursday. I'm going to fast Friday. I'm going to fast Saturday and Saturday night. I have a banquet that I'm going to. So I'll just ease into the food that I have that I have to break the fast. And it will be the only thing I ate that day. So I might make a what I ate today video and uh, talk to you about how the fast is going. We shall see. So let me know if you'd like to see, if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below. I know that this is not, like I have like not many people from the fasting community, but if you're interested in seeing how I deal with this um, 72 hour fast, I can, I can uh, record my thoughts along the way and show you my food and put together like a five minute video, she says, who always talks so much. So that's it, since I talk so much, I'm out. Those are my weigh-ins, down 3.4, then up 0.2, and now doing great. Oh, by the way, so far so good this week. I've, I've done great, tracked every day, and um, did OMAD every day, so that, that's that been a wonderful week so far. I'm going to um, fast the next three days, and then I will eat again on Saturday and Sunday, weigh in again Monday, so I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao, friends.